Hey there, fourth grade. This is Mr. Campbell. Today we are working on page 273. This is going to be lesson 7-4, prime and composite numbers. Now at the end of today, we want you to be able to say, I can use factors to determine if a whole number is prime or composite. And we're going to talk a little bit more about what do those words even mean, prime and composite. All right, because that is what our goal is going to be for today. Now, before we get into that, uh, I want to just take a quick moment to review real fast how we find the factors of different numbers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a sticky note. I just need your eyes here with me. Uh, I don't want you to be doing anything else just following along uh, as I write this down. So uh, if I have got a number, uh, let's just say my number is 12. All right, if my number is 12, all right. When we're talking about factors, we're saying things that can be multiplied together in order uh, to to get this as our product. All right. Now, every single number, if it's a whole number, we can always multiply it by one and its self. All right. So in this case, I've got one times 12 equals 12. All right. Now, there was a special thing that we talked about last time, uh, which was any time the number is even, then we can multiply it by 2. So here, I've got the number 2 in my 1's place, which is even, so I know I can multiply this by 2. So 2 times, well, I know 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So 1 times 12 is equal to 12. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Is there anything else? Well, let me try my threes next. So uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, 3 times 4 is also going to get me 12. And then I go, is there anything I can times by 5? No. Okay. Well, then I'm on to 6. So these are all of my factors of 12. Now, just because something is even doesn't mean it's only thing that has more than one, right? Uh, if I were to choose a different number, like the number 9, all right? If I chose the number 9, well, I know 1 and 9, right? Everything can be multiplied by itself. Can I multiply 2 to get anything? No. But 3, I can do 3 times 3. And check it out. I only put it one time because 3 times 3 is going to multiply by itself, all right? Now, there are other numbers that we've got uh, that we might have something different. So I'm going to do one last one for us, all right? And this is the number 7, all right? The number 7. Now, whenever we have a whole number like 7, I know that I can multiply it by 1 and 7. But let me go ahead and keep trying other numbers. So is 7 even? No, so I can't use two. Well, what about three? Three, six, nine. No. What about four? Four, eight. No. Five? Five, ten. No. Six, six, twelve. No. Seven and one. So my only factors for this one is one and seven. And that might seem kind of like, why are you talking so much about this? We already did factors, Mr. Campbell. Well, that's because this is what's going to help us to be able to say at the end of today, use factors to determine if a whole number is prime or composite. So let's go ahead and turn to page 274 and learn a little bit more about what prime and composite numbers are. So here we are on page 274. If you're not there yet, pause the video and get there now. It says the data table lists the factors for two, three, four, five, and six. What do you notice about the factors for five? What do you notice about the factors for six? So let's take a quick look over here. Here's five. The factors are one and five. And the factors for six are one, two, three, and six. What are some things you notice about that? Well, I noticed that six has more factors than five, right? I noticed that six is an even number, and so I used two as one of the factors. And I also noticed that they both have one listed as their first factor here. Well, those are all things that we can look at, and it'll help us out in just a second. It says, a prime number is a whole number greater than one that has exactly two factors. 
one and itself. So can you do me a favor? Grab your pencil right now. Uh, would you circle whichever of these numbers only have a factor of one and itself? Do that right now. Those are the only factors is one and then the number that we have. That would be two because two, one and itself, right? So two, we would have three because one and itself. We would not do four because four has one, two, and four, but we would circle five because it's got one and itself, and we would not circle six because there's not just two. There's only two factors in those three numbers. Those are called prime numbers, all right? A composite number is a whole number greater than one that has more than two factors. So let's uh, put a square around those. So four, because there's one, two, three, and then six, because there's one, two, three, four. Composite numbers have more than just one and itself listed, all right? That's how we can tell. Well, let's take a look at box B down here. It says five is a prime number. It only has two factors, one and itself. One times five and five times one. Remember, these are called factor pairs, but when we list out our factors, we would only list one and five, right? The number one is a special number because it is neither prime nor composite, all right? So one is kind of a unique and special number, which is why we say up here, it has to be greater than one with exactly two factors or greater than one with more than two factors. Let's take a look at C, composite numbers. Six is a composite number. The factors for six are one, two, three, and six. And look at this, these are all the different combinations that we can make using those factors. So prime numbers are one and itself. Those are the only things that we can use. And a composite number has more than just one and itself, all right? And just like when we looked up here, like the number four, it only has three, factors, right? One, two, and four, but that is still bigger than just the two factors, which is how we know it's a composite number, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at page 275 to look at our guided practice. All right, so here we are on page 275, and we're going to take a look over here at numbers four through nine for just a moment, all right? So the first thing I want to do when I'm looking, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more for us. All right, and it says here, uh, tell whether each number is prime or composite. All right, well, we already said prime, I'm going to write it up here, prime equals one, and then I'm going to put times and blank, because that's all it has. Composite uh, two. Uh, so I should say more than two factors, more than two factors. All right, there we go. I'll get out of the way for you. All right, so prime is just one times itself. Composite is more than two factors. So here's a really quick way for us to check this out. We already said if a number is even, we can always have two as one of the factors, right? So when I look through here, the first thing I do when I just want to figure out something's prime or composite, I say, is it even? And if the answer is yes, it is even, then I already know it's going to be composite, all right? So 32, the two, is that an even number? Yeah, it sure is. Because I could do one and 32, I could do two and 16, and actually I could keep going, but I'm gonna stop there because I've already got more than just one and 32. So this is, write it with me, composite. And just like I did there, that's how I can go through and ask myself these questions, all right? So let's take a look at number five, 51. Is it even? No, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's prime. There are other odd numbers that still work. 
So we don't want to just say prime right away. We got we to gotta check some things out, right? So let's go ahead and check it out. So uh, I've got 1 and 51, right? All right, what about 2 is not going to work? Can I multiply 3 by anything that will get me to 51? Hmm, 3, 6, 9, 12, 50. I don't know. That's a hard one. So I'm going to go ahead and divide it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say 51 divided by 3. All right, so 3 times... Uh, oops, that's supposed to be a five. I'm sorry. Three times one is going to be three. And when I subtract that, I'm left with a two. I bring down my one. Three times what will get me to 21? Three times seven is 21. And this is how I check to see because three times 17 equals 51. I don't have any remainder. So three and 17 are also factors. So what does that mean that this is going to be? This is going to be composite. All right. All right. That's how I can check my work. Now, some of these are going to be a little bit easier than others. All right. So check out number seven here. All right. Number seven, I've got 21. Well, I know I can do one, 21, right? But then I also can go, it's odd. So it's not going to be two. What about three? Well, 3 times 7 is going to give me 21. So this is composite. Now, I want you to look at these last three, all right? When I look at these three, uh, one of the things that I'm going to look at, I'm going to go, well, I know that if it's even, then it's going to be composite. This is odd, odd, and odd. But we just said that doesn't always mean that it's going to be uh, composite, right? Or it's going to be prime. So let's check it out. Um, what are some other things that we can quickly see and go, it's an odd number, but I know that I will always have it. Well, what about fives? We can always end up with a five in our ones place if we multiply by five, right? So like when I look at 95, I go, it's a really big number, but it ends in five, which means it is divisible by five. So if I took 95, divided it by 5, all right, I would say, well, 5 times 1 is 5. I'm left with a 4. If I bring down this 5, 5 times 9 is 45. That means 5 times 19 is 95. So this is composite. If it ends with a 5, you know it's composite. All right, but now we can go ahead and try something else out. So uh, I've got 29 over here, right? And so when I look at 29, I go, I know that I can do one and 29. It's not even, so that's not gonna work. Well, let's try out some other things, right? Well, three times 10 is 30. Three times nine is 27. So three is not gonna work, all right? What about fours, right? Four. 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Oh, we're almost there. 32. We did not land on 29, did we? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Nope. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Nope. 7, 14, 21, 28. Nope. 8, 16, 24, 32. Nope, we did not end at 29. 9, 18, 27, 36. We did not. This is how I can quickly check my numbers. If I know my facts really quickly, as soon as I go past what the number was, 29, I know that it's not going to be a factor, which is why I kept stopping every single time. Okay, so is there anything else? No, which means that this is prime. All right, there's two different ways that you can figure out the factors of something. I can list out all of my factors, which can work with some smaller ones, smaller numbers like 29, but then I also have bigger numbers that it's not gonna work so well with. 
All right, fourth grade, that is all that we've got for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Keep working on these prime and composite numbers. I'll see you next time.